welcome to the latest episode of The Exchange, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Douglas Jonas, your host. As a reminder, today's interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE does not recommend investments or investment strategies. We are live from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, joined today by Vance Howard. He is the CEO and portfolio manager at Howard Capital Management. Vance, thanks for being here again. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. It's exciting to be back. It's very exciting to be on the NYSE. I love it here. So, <laughs> a lot of volatility in the markets right yeah, now. Yeah, a lot. You've got two ETFs, the HCM Defender 100 yes. and HCM Defender 500. Tell us a little bit about how they handle market volatility. Well, you know, a lot of our proprietary indicator, the HCM byline, is the backbone of everything that we do. So it's the backbone of these two ETFs, Doug. So when the HCM byline is negative, we move 50% to one to three month treasuries, 50% invested. That's what we're in right now. We got a byline call on January 19th, so we move money away from the market. We're waiting for the market to turn back into an uptrend, but until it does, we'll sit on the sidelines. So first quarter of 2022 has been nothing but volatile. That's all it's been. Uh, <laughs> here we have these two ETFs. You've talked to us before about this HCM byline. Right. Help us understand what this methodology is and, and how does it react to this type of volatility? Well, it's interesting because the HCM byline is basically an intermediate t term trend indicator. So when the HCM byline is negative, we move money away from the market, move it into short term bonds or cash, one of the two. And when it's positive, we move money back into the market trying to capture that turn, as we call it. So as the market sells off, we can capture some uh, productive gains where stocks have been really beaten up. And it makes a big impact on our portfolio. And the two ETFs will mirror that. So they'll come back in with 100% of our buying power once the HCM byline's positive again and the trend's up. So you've mentioned this phrase before, uh, the whipsaw effect. Yes. Can you explain what that is and how these ETFs can avoid it? Well, when you get whipsawed, that means you're going back in and in, in and out. The byline is very slow to get out, but it's very fast to get back in. Now, if we do get back in and, it doesn't, and the market doesn't hold, we do have mathematical triggers to pull us back into cash again to go ahead and protect that capital in case the byline's a little bit early moving back in, but it very seldom is. And I can tell you, Doug, when the HCM byline's positive, you've got a 73% chance the market's going to move higher, 26, 27% chance it's not. Now, when the byline's negative, you can reverse those odds. You've got a 73% chance the market's going to be down to negative and a 26, 27% chance that it's going to move higher. We don't buck the odds. So right now, as we stand here today, Doug, it's a 73% chance the market's going to be neutral to negative. So you're an investor, you're an advisor, you're looking at the next quarter, yes. the remainder of the year. Uh, what are you telling them right now? Well, I think what's going to happen, I think the first half of this year is going to be very, very volatile, and I think it's going to be down to negative, but it's starting to base out now. I do think the last half of the year is going to be pretty productive. I think you're going to see a lot of sell buyers come back in, pick up these, these, these wonderful stocks that have been really beaten up, and I think we could end up the year with a positive gain. For someone who's out there, they want to learn more about your ETFs, where could they go? Well, our website, howardcm.com, they can go to that, the website there. They can call us, speak to any of our uh, wholesalers that we have. Love to talk to them. We can send them a brochure on everything they need to know about the ETFs and the HCM byline. Love to send it out to them. So that's howardcm.com. As a reminder, if you caught this episode live and you're looking for additional ETF thought leadership, you can find it on our website, homeofetfs.com. Easy to remember, homeofetfs.com. All brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.